Hello and welcome to the International Daily Roundup by People's Dispatch where we bring you major news developments from around the world. Our headlines, Indian farmers break barricades straight to Delhi, educational institutions shut down again in Pakistan, 100 sentenced in Turkey for participation in 2016 coup. Our first story is about the mobilization by Indian farmers which reached its second day today. The mobilization began yesterday in coordination with a massive strike in which over 250 million workers have been to have taken place. The mobilization by farmers began in the states neighboring India's capital, New Delhi, such as Haryana, Punjab, and Uttar Pradesh. The farmers decided to march to the capital, New Delhi, with their major demand being that three pro corporate agricultural laws be withdrawn. Over the past two days, the Indian farmers have braved repression, they have braved tear gas, crossed barricades, and have reached the city. Here is a short video feature about this protest. ये काले कानून है ये बिल्कुल हमारे किसानों के हित में नहीं है हालांकि किसानों के हित के भी नहीं ये गरीब जनता को भी मारेंगे अगर आज जो किसान अनाज नहीं उगाएगा सब्जी नहीं उगाएगा फल नहीं उगाएगा तो ये देश वैसे ही सड़के मरेगा क्योंकि आप देखिए जो ये पूंजीपतियों को इस खेती को भी सौंपना चाह रहे हैं हमारी जितनी कंपनियां थी हरियाणा के अंदर दिल्ली के अंदर हमारे देश के अंदर पूरे भारत की नौरतन कंपनियां इसने बेच दी हैं इसको उन कंपनियों के हवाले कर रहे हैं ये कंपनियों के हवाले करके हमारा बिल्कुल मजदूर का किसान का खून निचोड़ कर ये पीना चाहते हैं और अब हम नहीं सहेंगे वेरी गुड तोड़ते हुए आ रहे हैं यहाँ पंजाब से जब उठ के हमारा किसान हरियाणा का यहाँ इकट्ठा हो चुका क्या अभी अभी ये मोदी की नींद नहीं खुली है क्या हम अभी बिल्कुल शांति पूर्वक कर रहे हैं लेकिन ये हमारी शांति को भी भंग करना चाह रहे हैं तो हम भी आज बिल्कुल टकराव में खड़े हैं आज हम उल्टे जाने के मूड में नहीं है in our next story, all education institutions in Pakistan shut down from Thursday, November 26, and moved to online learning mode. This is after a steep rise in COVID-19 infections. It also decided to postpone the annual exams till January. If the condition improves, the schools for in-person learning will reopen from January 11th. From December 24th, schools in Pakistan are scheduled to go on winter vacation. The fresh cases of infection have started rising in the country with the past three days recording more than 3,000 cases each after it substantially reduced in September. At that point, authorities had reopened education institutions. This was after schools were closed for nearly six months and the country was slowly able to control the spike in new cases. Pakistan recorded more than 3,300 new cases with 40 new deaths on Wednesday. The country has recorded a total of more than 389,000 cases so far. 
with around 7,900 7, deaths. The positivity rate, which was its highest 23% in June, had come down to 1.7% in September, but it started rising again at 7.4% this week, Dawn newspaper reported. Finally, a Turkish court on Thursday sentenced hundreds of people for life for alleged involvement in the 2016 coup plot against President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The convicted include army officers, pilots and civilians. More than 470 people were tried for the alleged involvement in the failed coup plot on July 15, 2016 against Erdogan, out of which the court found 337 guilty and gave them various life sentences. These people were accused of seizing public institutions and crucial army installations, such as the Akini Air Base, from where bombings were carried out at government buildings, and an attempt was made on Erdogan's life, during which at least 250 people were killed and thousands were injured. According to Andal Andalu Agency, in the post-coup period, more than 292,000 people have been arrested, and more than 150,000 of government employees were sacked or suspended. So far, Around 2,500 people have been given live sentences in cases related to the coup by different courts in Turkey. That's all we have time for today. We'll be back on Monday with more news from around the world. Until then, keep watching People's Dispatch. Yeah,